Let me just play a level silently, and if you have questions, then let me know. It's really hard to dive back into this game having not played it for a while. This is going to be trouble. I can't actually do that, can I? How do I get something here? Maybe I can get itself in itself? I have an idea. Okay. Now what? No, undo. Oh, right. I was supposed to not speak. Ah. Ah. Comprendes? Ya? Ja. Okay, but now we have a problem. Which is that we're not actually done because now we have all this stuff we have to put in here. Okay, but I understand the general concept, which is that we need to use this as a delivery system for itself <laughs> in order to get this tile where it's going. And so maybe we use this as the thing that goes there. That would make sense to me. Now, what? What in the hell? Oh, right. I have to move this outside. Oops. I made an infinity. How did I do that thing again? I need to... Maybe I can bind the blue into the green? And then I push the green out. Oops. Yeah, because now I can go in here. I need to figure out how to think about this more concisely, the idea of how to replicate. This is, this is the fundamental tool that we're using, right? This is the problem solving trick that we're finding is, how do I get more copies of a certain tile? 
because fundamentally that's what we need to do, right? We need more copies of a specific tile. And now that we've done it once, there's no reason that we wouldn't be able to do it again. You're not making co- I mean, I guess we're- we're referencing self to self. We're repeating some nodes in our linked list, or whatever. The thing that you've done is gone from blue inside blue to green inside green. Oh, there was a blue- Oh. Is that how it starts? Green inside blue inside blue to blue inside green inside green. The thing that helped me was to keep track of which colors are in which other colors. This is clever stuff. Soft locking is definitely possible, yes. Okay. Anyway, we're very close to solution now, actually. Because now that we've got the orange tile where it needs to be... Oh, hell! Now, wait one damn minute! Get that blue back! Wait a minute. I need in there. But if I do this, I'm now on the bottom. That's problems. Yes! Okay. In the wise words of a physics professor I once knew. Uh, uh, do you understand it now, Twitch chat? <laughs> I have thrown the chalk in the air and gestured for 30 minutes. So surely you now get it. HPG, thanks for the Twitch Prime in 15 months. <laughs> Appreciate the savage. This is Patrick's Paradox. Parabox. Patrick's Parabox is a puzzle game about recursion, really. It's kind of a programmer's toy. It starts out as moving boxes and putting them into little receptacle squares, and then it becomes moving boxes within boxes, and then it starts being moving boxes within themselves, or boxes within another box, which is within the original box. Reference to self or chained references which are circular is the name of the game in Patrick's Parabox. It is a brain bender is the phrase that I'm going to use on my family oriented stream today. It's a big bad boy game. And I think it's because there are actions which are fundamentally the same that to your brain feel fundamentally different. Putting something into a place in your visible screen versus pushing something into or out of a box to put it in a place feel very, very unrelated to my brain, but they're they are absolutely part and parcel in Patrick's pair box. So that is what's going on. Thought it was a home renovator. <laughs> 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 Sirius said, congratulations, you have successfully educated me. The solution to that puzzle moved from an unknown unknown to a known unknown. Yeah, progress. <laughs> All right. In this one...
We have a blue box within a blue box with the green box and a yellow within it. And what we have to do is get three boxes inside the green. Which means... I'm going to start putting some stuff in the stuff. Oh boy, here's where it gets weird. Oh, I messed that up, actually. I actually wanted to put the orange up top, which I can do. <laughs> eh, it's so tiki. All right, well, it's starting to come together. I'm getting it. <laughs> Spambo says, this is how most of my efforts at programming turn out. I understand it well enough while coding to get it to compile, but I can no longer explain why it works. Oh, no plans to make that kind of a tier list for 20 poggers. Although, given how difficult it is to grow on YouTube, maybe I should make plans to do that. Okay, all of our squares are in green again. Same as the last one. Right now we're looking at one, two, three squares, and we need four. We are going to need to perform an inversion. But first, a curiosity. What happens when I do this? Right, just what we expect. It's a perfect loop. Oh. Right, I didn't think about this dilemma. Okay, and now there's one more box. Oops. And I see it. It's the green. How do I get to it? I need to go back inside the blue. Oh, but that means green can't be up at the top. Huh? I wonder if I have to use these other ones and then unpack it. Right, because the only way to get things into green. Now, hold up, hold up. Maybe I can push down. Could be, could do. Okay, I've got ideas.
Where? Where are we? <laughs> what was my plan? Right. I know what my plan is. My plan was to consume the blue from the top down. In fact, we can consume all of these things from the top down. No, that ain't it. Maybe except for purple. Which we'll need to consume from right to left. even gonna work we're stuck against our own wall that's not gonna work so I have to use a blocker which I can then theoretically move the popping sound is very like honest Void space. Of course. Oh, and they have different s shaped. Hold up. What is this good for? This is good for pushing down on something, but then still extracting it, which means it'll be perfect for this purple. Now, we've managed to put green in the very center, which is not actually what I wanted at all. Actually wanted the opposite. Okay, but this actually is interesting. Now that I'm looking closer at the orange, I can see that it's a place to where we could load up the green and still extract it afterwards. That's good. We can get purple into the orange, blue into the orange, and green into the orange all individually. And load this puppy up. But again, this green is going to end up going in. So now I need to take the purple out, or the blue rather. And eat it. Yes! Now! Progress. Maybe I do have to do this thing. But now I'm stuck against the wall. Trouble in paradise again? Okay. <laughs> What's in the ball? that I had before.
Right, the problem that I had was that actually unpacking this box will require me to push the blue box against the wall. Or will it? And the answer is no. And this is where we got the first run. So we managed to unpack these two things. But now, boom, we gotta get back into the blue box to push the green box out. But we actually can't push the green box out because it's stuck against the ceiling. And thus the problem. Evicting the green box from the blue box when we pack against the ceiling seems impossible. Is it? Yes, we can never move this. Okay. Notably, the orange one has that small platform that we can work on. But also notably, the purple has an upward opening, so we cannot pack everything into green that way. But it doesn't matter, because if we manage to pack the blue into the green, then everything is within it. We can just dump the purple back out. Now, when I do this, it does what I want. When I do this, it does what I want. Boom. Okay. Okay. So, we now have blue barely inside green. Can we do better than that? We can use the top wall of the purple. And all of a sudden I do want to do this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we did it. Bingo, baby. Let's go. That was good. That that forced me to think about these problems a little bit differently. I'm thinking about what surfaces I can safely use while still being able to reverse out of them. I hadn't been thinking about problems that way. That was that was a very that was a very educational level. That was cool. Um a fair note and warning in puzzle games, as with every game, I have a very liberal backseating policy. However, in puzzle games, unlike almost every other game I play, I basically don't read chat suggestions the entire time I'm solving a puzzle because I've found that it actually ends up making it way harder for me to solve puzzles. It really, really complicates things for me because I end up spending brain cycles trying to translate the way that other people's minds work instead of just advancing my own. And so please don't 
like take it personally if you give a really brilliant hint or suggestion and I completely ignore it. It's not because I don't want you to engage. I just can't play puzzle games like that. So I actually really enjoy solving it and then looking back at what people were saying. That's kind of fun because I can see how everyone else's brain works once I figure out my own. Can you explain what you did to make that work? So ultimately what we started with was a blue box within a blue box, an orange box within a blue box, a green box within a blue box, and a purple box within a blue box. And what we needed was to get four boxes inside of a green box. So we just needed to pack the green box. The only surface that we could work on from the top was within the orange box. We can work on um, the top side of the purple box from the bottom. And so basically I just started to see what surfaces we could work on within what boxes. And through as many steps as it took, I just tried to get everything into the green box. And once you do that, as long as you can safely unpack, then then you're set. I don't know that I can explain it any better than that because that was a very complicated level. I suspect all of the levels are going to be like this from now on. Yeah, exactly, Mini. Oh wow, we're actually in infinity here. Oh, I see what it's teaching me. That's cute. Right? So, it's saying you've got a cube stuck against a surface that you need to move. If you can push it out of the current space and then push it back in, it will be recentered. And so probably now this starts to get more complicated. <laughs> oh no, wait, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. It seemed so intuitive and then... And then suddenly it wasn't. Aha! <laughs> that is a good teaching level, yeah. What? Uh -huh. Oh no, this is going to shatter my brain. I just know it. I'm just sure of it. The void spaces are so nasty. Whoever invented those is a demon. 